Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on in. Say sin's good gifts. Yes, Lord. And then, you know, I think about Evangelist King, you know, been minister for a long time. Yes, Lord. And you like, and you know, by me just uh, knowing him and being wrong, like, God, uh, who would give up a good gift like that? <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why, man, you know, it's churches uh, that all over the world, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's bad when a church don't recognize what they got in. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You, Amen. Most, you, as a pastor, you can make a mistake and, and, and lose some, some, some people that really can help you. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. uh, you, you just like. Precious gift. Yeah, precious gift. God says, I have precious gift. Mm -hmm. And Evangelist King Thank is a precious gift. Thank you, Jesus. He's a precious gift to us. Yes, uh, he is. You know, some people won't recognize your, your, your yes. gifts. Mm -hmm. The things mm -hmm. you can do uh, to, to elevate the ministry. Yes. The ministry. Hallelujah. Right. And, and, you know, what they'll, they'll throw away what something brain. That, that's gold. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they don't see the value. Thank but you, But you know what? God sees the value. He God sees it. Sees. You know, and God will put you in a place where you sell Oh, hallelujah, <laughs> right. Jesus. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Because he's God. Yes, you will. That's right. He celebrates. He celebrates. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. Right. Use, you use me, Lord. God will celebrate you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Today, we want to look at the physician. Uh, who was the physician in the Bible? Luke. Luke. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bless his own name. I didn't name. know that one. Thank you, Jesus. Look, Luke wrote the book of Luke. Mm -hmm. But what other book did he write? Acts. Acts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, you know, as we come to church, you got to have some type of system, uh, uh, some type of teaching to, to, to get you to understand more of the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you can't you, Jesus. just read something that you're not going to get excited about. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. So I got excited about the Bible because <laughs> I started finding out a lot of things, a lot of Jews who wrote this book and how this tied in together. So what I'm, I'm going to teach you today, I'm, I'm going to show you some things you probably haven't saw so since you read the Bible. Thank First you, of Jesus. all, uh, let's go to... Uh, Acts, but let's go to Luke. And the uh, title, uh, title of this message is just uh, Love, Listen, and Learn. Love, Listen, and Learn. I want you to learn, so I want you to just come in and, and get happy, but believe with no knowledge, mm -hmm. no will. That's That's right. Hallelujah. Right. Hear, what have I showed you today? That Go to Luke and, and keep your hand on Acts. We're going to look at both of them. What mm -hmm. have I showed you today? That. Acts is a continuation of Luke. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you how you can know that these two books are, are written by the same author. Look at Luke chapter 1. Matthew, Mark, Luke. There's some things that Luke says in chapter 1 that is repeated in Acts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost the same identical words. Mm -hmm. Go to Luke chapter 1. And look at, not Luke 1, Luke 2. Luke 2. And look at verses 1 through 4 when you get to say amen. Mm -hmm. This Luke is going to yeah, 2, 1 through 4. You know, these are letters. That, 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 like Paul, all of those are letters. Even this, Luke is, is writing. He's writing to uh, to Theophilus. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. To, to Theophilus. Theophilus. That's right. That's right. You know what is one? I don't know why I put Chapter 2 down, but it's chapter 1. Chapter 1 of Luke 1 through 4. You ready? Amen. For as much, chapter 1. Chapter 1. 1 through 4. For as much as many have taken in, in and hand to set forth in on a declaration of those things which are most, uh, most surely believed among us, mm -hmm. even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitness and ministers of the word. Mm hmm. The Luke was a physician, but he also traveled with Paul. That's right. Amen. And he had a uh, first-hand account. If, if I'm traveling with you, I, I got first-hand account first of the things account. that you were doing. Amen. Right? He had first-hand account. Uh, and it's just very interesting uh, how Luke wrote Acts in, in, in the book of Luke. Look at verse 3. It seemed good to me also having had perfect understanding mm -hmm. of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order most excellent Theophilus. Mm -hmm. He's writing to this guy called Theophilus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed. In other words, this guy must uh, 
is saved and want to learn the word of the living God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a, a you, you write a letter to somebody and try to explain some things to them. Right, right, right. But, but now, in, in, in reading it, let's go to Acts. Let's go to the book of Acts and look at chapter 1. Chapter now, one. now, remember what we just read right there. Mm -hmm. Because Acts is like church history. Mm -hmm. It's like, also like, it's, the, it's like Genesis. You can compare Acts to Genesis. Acts is like church history. Go to uh, Acts chapter 1. Mm -hmm. When you get to say amen. 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 Hallelujah. That's amen. Amen. Yes, and he's man. writing to the same guy. And, and I want you to catch these things as you read the Bible. Mm -hmm. In other words, I want you to catch these little, these words and, and these uh, similarities that you read in other books. We just read what Luke was writing to Theophilus. Now, now look at the book of Acts. The book of Acts is a continuation of, of Luke. Uh -huh. and I, and Amen. I'm going to show you that. Amen. And, and Amen. Look, look at Acts 1. Everybody got it? Amen. Mm -hmm. The former treaties have I made. Look, what was your name again? O yep. Theophilus. Mm -hmm. Of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. And teach. Until the day in which he was taken up after that he, he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments mm -hmm. unto the apostle whom he had chosen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop right there because now I'm going to show you some. I'm going to show you why Acts is a continuation of Luke. Go to the last chapter of Luke. Mm -hmm. In this last chapter, he says some things that he began to uh, take up again in Acts. Go to the last chapter of Luke. He, he says what Jesus, uh, he's speaking what Jesus did when he left, when he was going up in the clouds. And if you read Luke, if you ever read the book of Luke, go and read Acts right after. Because mm -hmm. it's going to give you a, a whole story about the whole thing Luke put together. Everybody got Luke uh, 24? Amen. Luke 24? Yeah. This last chapter of Luke that he reads, it starts again in Acts. <laughs> and it's interesting. When, when you finish reading Luke 24, if you go to Acts chapter 1, there's a continuation of the story. So in other words, you put Luke and Acts together uh, and, and keep continuing to read uh, the story about Luke, what he's saying about the, the, the church history. But it's very interesting because if you don't uh, notice about the Bible, you you see Acts is not right after Luke; it's John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you know uh, you, you won't get to the, the, the fruits, or you won't get to a, a good understanding if you don't go from Luke to Acts. And I'm saying, if you read the Book of Luke, go ahead and read Acts. Everybody got Acts? I mean, Luke 24. Mm -hmm. Amen. Listen to this. Go to verse uh, 44. 40. 24 and 44. I'm just trying to show you some things about the Bible today that going to enrich your, your growth when you read the Bible and get you excited about learning the things of God from these authors. Look at verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, mm -hmm. that all things must be fulfilled. This is Christ. Which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets. Yeah. And in the Psalms concerning me, Jesus saying, if they written in the law of Moses, the prophets, the Psalms, I came to fulfill. Mm -hmm. And then that's why he said in 44, uh, uh, things must be fulfilled. Jesus came to fulfill the law of God. 45. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. When you read the scriptures, when you read this Bible, remember, if you read the Old Testament, you're reading about the things uh, that God has Put in the word that Jesus is coming to fulfill. Mm -hmm. All these things about these prophecies, this, this Messiah that was going to be born, he's, he's coming to fulfill all those things. He's coming to fulfill the law. He's coming to uh, obey the law for our benefit. And then he's coming to die. He, he's going to fulfill the law. He, he didn't die because he broke one of God's law. Amen. Okay? Amen. Amen. Jesus didn't die because of that. Jesus fulfilled the law, and then turned around, he did some extra. What did he do? He died he all over the sin. That's that's right. Right. He fulfilled all the law that mm -hmm. God required. Mm -hmm. right? Then he 
turned around and said, I'm not finished yet. Not let me die for sin. So <laughs> Hallelujah. I mean, he was all Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Like, one thing I want to do is let you know I'm going to obey everything. Yeah, everything. And everything I'm going to submit to right. everything my father has told me yes, to submit. Yes, and yes, when I'm finished then, I'm still yes, going to do the same thing. Go beyond. Die for sin. That's right. He still ain't saying, oh, I ain't do it yet. I got to take care of the devil now. That's right. I got to. Well, his devil won't put his neck up on his feet on our neck. Say it. Oh, Set. hallelujah, Set. Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. That's what he did. Thank this you, Jesus. Right in a volume of the book. Yeah, in the volume of the book. That's and right. after uh, God wrote it about him, he fulfilled it all, but he said, I ain't through yet. I and Genesis said, say, I got a bruise, I, I got a, uh, a, a, a blow to the, the devil's head. Hey, that's right. Bruise his head. That's right. Right? right. And Jesus, right. Jesus didn't have, didn't lead to you bruised his head. Yeah. Hallelujah. How did he do that? He died for all sin. Yes, all Lord. sin. Yes, no longer Lord. bound. He became sin that we may be made the righteousness of Christ. Oh, right. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He said, uh uh, I'm not going to let y'all be held down no more. Mm -hmm. All those that the spirit that in, in the bondage of death, Hebrews yeah. 2 and 14. That's right. All your lifetime. <laughs> all your lifetime. In fear of death. death. That's right. He said, now I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to solve death. Mm -hmm. And how did he do it? He said, now I'm crucified. Not because of my sin, mm -hmm. but because of the sins of those that believe on me. Mm -hmm. And Jesus. That's when uh, verse 45 says, then open he their understanding. Death. That they might understand the scripture. the scripture. Thank you, Jesus. See, in the law of Moses, it spoke about a Messiah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the prophets, it spoke about a Messiah. Yes, Lord. In the song, uh, uh, David said, I see my Lord uh, talking about my, uh, my, his Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. David That's prophesies about Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. And said in verse 46, and said to them, Thus it is written, and thus it behoove Christ to suffer. Mm hmm. And to rise from the dead the third day. That's right. And that repentance and remission of sins should be preached mm -hmm. yes, in his name. Yes, among all, all nations. nations mm -hmm. Beginning at, at Jerusalem. Jerusalem. That's right. And ye are witness of these things. And behold, they not now it's gonna get interesting. He said, And behold, I send the promise. The promise. See, Thank it ain't happened yet, but see, if you read Acts, you know it's it, it, it's, it's gonna come about. It's gonna come about. Right? Right. So this is the same person that read, I mean that wrote Luke wrote Acts. Mm -hmm. So he telling them in, in Luke, and behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But tarry ye mm -hmm. in the city of Jerusalem. There's an upper room. Yes, in other words, people you know what's gonna happen in the yes, upper room. room. So yes, when you go and read that, you should get excited. You say, Luke Hallelujah. spoke about that. Mm -hmm. Tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued, endued. with power. Mm. That's the day of Pentecost. That's right. <laughs> From on high. Mm -hmm. And he led them out as far as to Bethany. Bethany. And he lifted up his hands and blessed him. My Lord. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass while he, was, while he blessed him, he was parted from them and carried up into carried heaven. Carried up into heaven. And right. they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And were continually in the temple praising and blessing him. God, not not go to Acts. Okay, you see what Luke read here. Mm -hmm. Now let us see what Acts says about this. Uh, this what he had spoke of, because Acts gonna uh, t gonna give us a continuation. Go to Acts. Hallelujah. Bless His holy name. We're gonna read a couple of verses in chapter one, and we're gonna go to chapter two. When you get the same man, and he's speaking. I just showed you in, in Luke chapter 1, he's speaking to this guy called Theophilus. Mm -hmm. Everybody got Acts chapter yeah. 1? Amen. The Amen. former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken over. We just read there, right? Mm -hmm. After that he had, he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. And to whom he also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. Proof. That's in the gospel. Mm -hmm. When Jesus got up out the ground. This is so when you read Acts, you read just a history of what happened uh, concerning Jesus. Mm -hmm. Concerning even Paul, Peter. Uh, but you then you go back and you read the, the individual books. Mm -hmm. But this is just the, the history of the church. In other words, when you read Acts, you keep reading uh, to the last chapter, 
It's going to talk about a lot of things that you will go back and read in, in, in these uh, books of Paul, books of Peter, yes, right? Mm -hmm. yes, Amen. Lord. So, Amen. Yeah. It's going to say some things, and, and then you will read it again when you read the individual books. Mm -hmm. Acts is like a history book. This one book is like a history of the church. Mm. Okay? So The church. Yeah, uh -huh. the church. So don't get thrown off when you read it. It's telling you about things that you're going to read again in their own Pacific books. Mm -hmm. Look at verse uh, 3. I mean, four. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem. We just read that in, in Luke 24. But wait, what? For the promise. For the promise of the Father. Of the Father, which mm -hmm. said he, said he, ye have heard of me. Mm -hmm. For John truly baptized with water. You remember when we read the book of John? Mm -hmm. I mean, and then John the Baptist. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? He said unto him, It is not for you to know the times or mm -hmm. the season which the Father has put in his own power. His own power. Mm. But ye shall receive power. Yes, Lord. That's what Luke said in chapter 24. Thank you, Jesus. After the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria unto the uttermost parts of the earth. You have to ask yourself today, man. Why I don't witness a lot of why people that, that, that are saved don't, you know, are not uh, zealous to witness. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not feeding their spirit. Mm -hmm. In other words, when when you are feeding your spirit, you can't help but witness. Hallelujah! Amen. Look, Amen. the Holy Ghost will move you. Amen. Amen. Right. If you ain't not, if you're not witness, it's something that's, right. that's, uh, that's not right. working right in, in, in your uh, relationship with God. That's right. That's right. You don't even have to think about witness, and you don't have to think about what to say. But when you uh, 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 get filled with the word, mm -hmm. it come the word compels you. Yes, yes, you. you are your witness. The Holy Ghost uh, 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 address you. You, know, you need to go witness, mm -hmm. and the Holy Ghost will compel you to start witnessing. That's the people. Right. You don't even know. That's right. That's right. The Holy Spirit, he, 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 he's, he's, he, he just uh, it's like burning in you, like Jeremiah. Yes. Yeah. Like the word, word is burning. Right. No. Mm -hmm. And you, you just have to do it. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it it's something, it, it, it's just a, a promise that God has spoken in His Word that the Holy Spirit began to move you in. He moves you to, to, to witness about who? Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He'll move you to start Amen. talking about Christ. Amen. And, and so now we're going to see in chapter 2 that the, the event actually takes place. In other words, what, what, what Luke talk about, talked about in, in Luke 24 about mm -hmm. the promise. The promise. We're going to read where it actually takes place mm -hmm. in, in Acts. Hallelujah. The day, everybody say the day of Pentecost. The day, day of Pentecost. Pentecost. That's what Luke was telling them, you know, in Acts. This day of Pentecost is, is going to happen. And this is the day that it, it, it happens. Everybody got Luke chapter 2? Amen. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all with one accord, one accord. in one place. One place. Mm. Look, when the, when, when, when the Holy Spirit is feeding you, what is He getting you ready to, to do or to become? Mm. Simple. One. 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 Hallelujah. You're not getting fed by the Holy Spirit and you have, you, you, you become a person of strife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you? Are, are you? Uh, are you a person? You catch a person. I always want to uh, bring division. That ain't that, that's not that's the Holy Spirit. Not, no, uh, right? No. If no. you catch a person and, and y'all uh, 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 fellowship it, and one person starts to bring division, mm -mm. you know th they're not being led by the Spirit. Amen. Amen. One thing about the Spirit, it, it likes uh, people to be one. Yes. One. That, that's what it's, that's what the Holy Spirit job is. Hallelujah. Uh, as Thank our, you, Jesus. Our, our helper. Yes, Lord. He helps us. To see uh, in people, you you know, uh, how can I explain? It? He helps us to see in people uh, their, uh, what's going on with them. Mm -hmm. In other words, he gives us wisdom to say, you know what, they have a problem, and he'll give you a word in due season. Uh -huh. like medicine. Amen. He give you the word to speak to them to bring them up, not to uh -huh. them down. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. To bring them up, just like you was in that place before. Yes. The Holy uh -huh. Spirit did not come to bring the vision. Mm -hmm. No. But he did. Come to bring oneness. Oneness. One yes, say it. Say it. They was with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a song from heaven as a rushing mighty wind. Mm -hmm. 
and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire. Mm. And it sat upon each of them. Guess what? They, man, they all was filled with full of the Spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. Have you ever been in, in a setting, in a church setting, where everybody's full of the Spirit? Yes, no. Lord. Yes, Lord. 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 It ain't nothing like it, right? Full of the Holy Ghost. It ain't nothing like it. It ain't nothing like it. Ain't nothing like it. And they appeared unto them clothing to them like a fire as it set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, and hallelujah, to, to Jesus. Speak. Remember I told you, when the Spirit is heaven on you, you can't, you can't sit up. You can't, you can't, hold, you, you can't hold your peace. No, you can't hold it. How you know when a person is, is being in the Spirit, they, they, they begin to do things they don't normally do. That's right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The moment the Spirit come on you, you're going to be... You will become bold. Yes, bold. hallelujah. You will become bold. You will be. You will Thank speak. you, Lord. Thank it, you, Jesus. It's going to be with authority. With yes, authority. Lord. Yes, Amen. Lord. The Holy Spirit puts authority in your life. Yes, yes. it does. He, he, he put boldness when mm. was uh, uh, like timid. Yes, he Lord. makes you bold. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mm -hmm. Jesus. They begin to speak with, with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem. Jews, devout men out devout of every man, nation every of the nation. Mm -hmm. Now, when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Yeah. Yes, oh, Lord. Right. And I told them yesterday, at the Tower of Babel in Genesis, mm -hmm. God confounded language. But at this time, no, he, uh, he, he made it where all of them could understand each other. Why? Because it's time. It's time for what? The people to be one. Mm -hmm. At that time, it wasn't time for them to be one. But now, we living in a time where it's, it's time for when, 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 when a, a, a family or a body of Christ become one, it's nothing hindered from them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Jesus. You see in most yes, prayers answered consistently. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. You see, right. many right. people uh, are being fruitful, not just one. Mm. Everybody. In, 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 a, in a church or a home where, where people begin to be at one. One. Thank you, Jesus. That, that whole, that whole home. Say it, Say it. That's yeah, right. You know, we, 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 we live in, in, a, in a bad place when, when, when people all just are hanging on to one person. Yes, mm -hmm. That's not good. Mm -hmm. but, uh, God told Moses, I want all my people to be prophets. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Uh, we, you don't want to live thank you, uh, thank you, in, a, Jesus. In, a, in, a, in a house of God where only one person uh, is fruitful. Yeah, uh, mm. nobody else. Every, everybody should be fruitful. Yes, Lord. Everybody uh, sh should be uh, 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 begin to speak the word of God with, with yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. In the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. You, you, want, you want the majority of, of the people in the house of God to be on one accord. Mm. Mm. It would be better if all oh, of them. Oh, hallelujah, majority. Jesus. Because mm -hmm. you can't get nothing done. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Thank you, Lord. Thank Just you, like Jesus. Republicans and Democrats. Mm -hmm. The Senate and Congress. But when you become <laughs> one, you get things done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You get things done. Yes, sir. The Spirit yes, wants to get things done. Thank you, Jesus. He wants us to get things done. He wants us to see the prayers come to pass. Hallelujah. He wants us to have a love for, for, for God and man. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus uh, found favor with God and man. That's yes, he did. That's what he did. That's what he did. That's what he did. We both have the mind. The Thank you, Jesus. Look, they, uh, now this uh, verse 7, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these we speak Galileans? Mm -hmm. They can understand. Jesus. If they all Galileans, how can they speak in verse 9 all these other different languages? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all these other people they named it. Mm -hmm. they, they could hear them in their own in language. Their own language. Oh. The Parthians, is the Medes, the Mesopotamia, Judea, mm -hmm. uh, Cappadocia, mm -hmm. uh, Phrygia. Mm -hmm. You know, all these different other nations. But they all Jews, but they could hear them in their own language. In their own yeah. language. My Lord. That's right. Thank you, know what, you, Jesus. What was happening? Well, it was a, a prophecy of Joel. Joel. That's right. Uh, Joel said, In the last days, God will pour out his spirit on all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see dreams. Mm -hmm. So this was a prophecy mm -hmm. in the book of Joel, in the Old mm -hmm. Testament, that he spoke of. But and, and on this day, it came to pass. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. This power that, that the Holy Spirit brings. It's not like no other power you can experience in life. Yes, Lord. It's yes, the power Lord. To, to, to stop doing evil. <laughs> I mean, as a person, yes, Lord. He, he'll have you when you don't want to get in a lot of evil mm -mm. things. Move away. He'll work on your conscience. Yes, Lord. He's, he even works on our physical body. Mm -hmm. He reveals. The Holy Spirit. I'm going to get in it later. Go, go to uh, verse chapter 2. Mm -hmm. 
of Acts and go to verse 36 to 39. 36 to 39. Because we want to read about this promise that is supposed to be for us too, not just for the Jews. Mm -hmm. That's right. You realize that the right. promise was for anybody that accepts Christ. Mm -hmm. And this promise was the Holy Spirit. 